Hello, beautiful friends and bookish fam. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Breeze. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for returning to another video. Today, we are here to quickly run through all of the books that I read in 2023. So last year, I started the tradition of making one of the very first videos that I post in the new year, a run through of all of the books that I read for the year. And so I'm going to continue with that today. Obviously, I'm not going to really be speaking much about the books in general. I'm not going to be talking about what they're about, my thoughts or feelings or anything like that. This is just a quick overview of all of the books that I read. I read 156 books in total in 2023, which is absolutely wild to me because I think the highest I'd ever reached previously was like 115. So I'm very, very pleased with the number of books that I managed to get to in 2023. And so because there are so many of them, we are just going to go ahead and jump right in. Like I said, I'm only going to be showing you the book, saying the title and the author and moving right along. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. The Woman in the Library by Sulari Gentil. The Final Revival of Opal and Nev by Donnie Walton. Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jelly McAllister. Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Surviving Savannah by Patty Callahan. A Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kemmerer. Emma by Jane Austen. Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. Just the Nicest Couple by Mary Kubica. Help Me Remember by Corin Michaels. Cake by Jake Bangston. Only When It's Us by Chloe Lees. The Secret Witness by Victor Methos. The Sweet Spot by Amy Popel. The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor. Watching You by Lisa Jewell. The It Girl by Ruth Ware. Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. Missing Pieces by Heather Gutenkopf. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendricks. The Passengers by John Mars. Dark John by Jay Kristoff. Slave to Sensation by Nalini Singh. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. The Survivors by Jane Harper. Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. Out of the Dust by Karen Hesse. Cress by Marissa Meyer. Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. The Silent Sister by Diane Chamberlain. Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry. The Key to My Heart by Leah Lewis. The King of Crows by Libba Bray. The Dark Corners of the Night by Meg Gardner. Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Mamaskal. Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. Fly Away by Kristen Hanna. The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. The School for Good Mothers by Jessamine Chan. The Last Invitation by Darby Kane. The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. Georgie All Along by Kate Claiborne. Stay Awake by Megan Golden. Every Last Fear by Alex Finley. The Martian by Andy Weir. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. Chasing River by K.A. Tucker. The Soulmate by Sally Hepworth. The Things We Cannot Say by Kelly Rimmer. I Have Some Questions for You by Rebecca Mackay. The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. The Haunting of Ashburn House by Darcy Coates. The Last Party by Claire McIntosh. 13 by Steve Cavanaugh. Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. Faithless by Karen Slaughter. Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. The Last Word by Taylor Adams. The Collected Regrets of Clover by Mickey Brammer. The Phantom Prince, My Life with Ted Bundy by Elizabeth Kendall. The 100 Years of Lenny and Margot by Marianne Cronin. All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Millingham. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. Wayward by Amelia Hart. The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. A Very Merry Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. The Matzo Ball by Jean Meltzer. One Last Gift by Emily Stone. A Blizzard of Polar Bears by Alice Henderson. Close to Home by Robert Dugoni. Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. The Good Lie by A.R. Torrey. Twelve Sharp by Janet Ivanovich. Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. You Were There Too by Colleen Oakley. Signal Fires by Danny Shapiro. The Five. The Untold Lives of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper by Hallie Rubenhold. My Dear Hamilton by Stephanie Dre and Laura Kamoy. A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. Lean Mean 13 by Janet Ivanovich. Too Late by Colleen Hoover. Flawless by Elsie Silver. The Roses of May by Dot Hutchinson. Dark Corners by Megan Golden. Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. Mad Honey by Jody Bicot and Jennifer Finney Boylan. The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. The Curse of Saints by Kate Dramas. Never Look Back by Allison Galen. Crimson Lake Road by Victor Methos. Deadlands by Stacey Marie Brown. The Only One Left by Riley Sager. Undercover Bromance by Lissa Kate Adams. Maybe Someday and Maybe Not Both by Colleen Hoover. The Violin Conspiracy by Brendan Slocum. The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. Family Game by Catherine. Steadman. Hadley and Grace by Suzanne Redfern. Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. Una Out of Order by Margarita Montemori. Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Fearless 14 by Janet Ivanovich. None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. The Summer Children by Dot Hutchinson. Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Torres. The Last House on the Street by Diane Chamberlain. False Witness by Karen Slaughter. Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead by El Casamano. Gone Tonight by Sarah Pacannon. An Unreliable
Unreliable Truth by Victor Methos. Finger Lickin' 15 by Janet Ivanovich. All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. Secrets of a Charmed Life by Susan Meisner. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. The Marriage Act by John Mars. Triptych by Karen Slaughter. Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. Just Another Missing Person by Jillian McAllister. Starling House by Alexi e. Harrow. The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun by El Casamano. Speakeasy by Serena Bowen. Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel. The Lonely Hearts Book Club by Lucy Gilmore. Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. The Intern by Michelle Campbell. The Unmaking of June Vero by Adrienne Young. Heartless by Elsie Silver. The Stranger Upstairs by Lisa M. Matlin. The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. What Have We Done by Alex Finley. After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Sizzling 16 by Janet Ivanovich. The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Forever Home by Alicia Whistler. Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. Fireworks by Serena Bowen. And finally, Hostage by Claire McIntosh. All right, everybody, that is it. Those are all of the books that I read in 2023. I think my count was a little bit off because as I was going through my list, I realized that a couple of the books that I officially marked as DNF'd in 2023 were on the list as well, but I don't count those towards books read. So I think it ultimately ended up being like 154, 155, which I'm still totally fine with. I'm very happy with the number of books that I read this year. And for the most part, I feel like I had a quality reading year overall. I definitely had some gems, some books that are going to stick with me for a very, very long time. Please comment down below and let me know how many books you read in 2023. Let me know if that's a standard number for you, if it was high, if it was low, how many books you aim to read in 2024. I would love to know. Or if you made it to the end of this video and you're not feeling chatty, go ahead and leave me a tornado emoji if there is one, because that is currently what my library looks like right now. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I aim to post one video a week, but typically I do too, depending on what I can do. And I would love to connect with you in any of those next videos or on any of my other social media platforms, which I always leave linked down below, along with books that I may talk about in a video, with the exception of this video, because I am not linking all 156 books that I read this year. I love you guys, but that's a lot of work. Until next time, y'all. Bye.